A resounding no vote yesterday and this morning, Barathakis, the Greek finance minister, has resigned. What's crucial about his resignation blog post is the reason he says he left. He's gone because the creditors don't like dealing with him. He thinks him going increases the chances of a deal and the Greek prime minister agrees. The creditors have time to wait. The Greek government don't because their banks are closed. And the longer those banks stay closed, the more the Greek economy gets suffocated in the days and weeks ahead. And crucially, the Greek government have said the banks would be opening soon. They need to get those banks open, which means they need a deal. And today we expect a new offer from the Greek government. We can guess what that offer is going to look like. It's going to look like the offer they made last Wednesday. They're going to concede on almost every one of the red lines, on almost every one of their sticking points on economic reform, on pensions, on VAT, on the labour market, on tax, on budget surpluses. They're going to concede. What they want in return is two years of financing rather than a few months, and crucially, a debt right down. Now here's where the creditors stand. We're in a position where almost, which almost no one saw coming last Friday. Greece is united with a resounding no. The Syriza government has held together, and it's the creditors, the creditors who are divided. They've now got to make a really cynical choice. What do they fear more? Do they fear the economic impact of a Brexit and all the market dislocation? The idea that the euro is not irreversible? Or do they, do they fear the political fallout of a Greek victory? The impact that would have on the elections in Spain, Portugal, Ireland, the domestic, the domestic problems that would cause in Germany. That's the choice they've got to make. And today, the creditors are divided. The French have came out. The French are pushing for a deal. That started yesterday afternoon. Hollande is meeting Merkel tonight, ahead of the full Eurogroup tomorrow. That's a crucial, that's a crucial development. Renzi, the Italian Prime Minister, seems to be backing the French. So what we're now seeing is Spain and Germany, Rajoy and Merkel versus Hollande and Renzi, France and Italy. This is a battle between social democratic left-leaning Europe and more conservative Europe. A battle over how they respond to the Greek proposals. A deal could be done. A deal could be done. If Merkel has the political will to do this deal, she has the political capital to push it through Germany. The real sticking point won't be in Germany, it'll be in Eastern Europe. Countries like Slovakia, countries like Slovenia, countries which are poorer than Greece and are very, very resistant to another bailout. Everything could still go wrong. Greece could still fall out of the euro. The European Central Bank won't pull the plugs yet. It's going to take its lead from the politicians. The next few days and hours are crucial. And in the end, in a week's time, this referendum, the Greeks called the short notice, is either going to look like a masterstroke, which unlocked debt relief, or a desperate gamble, which failed and ended with Greece slumping out of the euro into at least a temporary deeper depression.